Can we talk about the recently launched Sora? Have you heard of Sora? Stick around and we'll have a look at the mysteries and the implications of this new technology. Artificial intelligence just got a mega upgrade thanks to OpenAI. This AI powerhouse can whip up a 60 second video just from a prompt. In the realm of AI generated content, Sora is the beginning of AI generated videos. Sora seems groundbreaking. According to OpenAI, they're teaching AI to understand and simulate the physical world in motion with the goal of training models that help people solve problems that require real-world interaction. They mean Sora, their text-to-video model. In short, Sora can produce one-minute videos in line with what was prompted. This is a huge leap forward from where we were a year ago. So basically, Sora builds on the groundbreaking technology of OpenAI's DALI, but with a twist. It interprets text prompts expands them into detailed instructions, and unleashes the power of AI models trained on video and images to craft visuals. The quality of these AI videos is breathtaking, until you look a little bit closer. But from what we've seen, puppies playing in the snow, grannies blowing out candles on a birthday cake, Sora really seems to blur the lines between reality and imagination. So Sora isn't your everyday AI tool, and it's definitely not up for grabs for just everyone. Currently, it's reserved for a select group of filmmakers, artists, and researchers, and they're better known as the RED team members. They're the ones tasked with scrutinizing this technology for potential misuse. Red team members will evaluate hazards or damages. As OpenAI says, they are providing access to several designers, filmmakers, and visual artists in order to get their input on how to improve the model so that it best serves the needs of creative professions. But Sora can create intricate scenes with several actors, distinct motion styles, and precise background and subject details. In addition to comprehending the user request in the prompt, the model also knows how those items actually exist in the real world. With a keen eye, you can spot some subtle cues that will give away the fact that this is AI-generated content. We all know AI is not great at showing us hands, for instance. So keep an eye out for anything that looks a bit odd. To you and I, there might be nothing wrong with the video, but to some content creators, Things just might be off. OpenAI have also included a watermark on any of the content that Sora produces just to notify viewers of the origins of the content. But let's not ignore the elephant in the room. As much as we're all struck by Sora's capabilities, there are ethical considerations at play. As they say, with great power comes great responsibility and we need to tread carefully in the realms of AI-generated content. So where do we go from here? As Sora continues to push boundaries of creativity, we have to consider tough questions about authenticity, creativity, and the future of human involvement in content creation. Us techies are always advocating that AI will be a good thing, only taking jobs that we don't want or need, and giving us, the human, the freedom to create creatively and enjoy what we do. AI is supposed to be our support system, but content producers are facing a brave new world with the arrival of Sora. A quick prompt put into something like Sora, could it cost you your job? Drone pilots, videographers, even the talent in front of the camera might suffer consequence here. While the technology promises unparalleled creative possibilities, it does raise concern about job displacement and perhaps even the devaluation of human creativity. While this is the beginning of the beginning to some, the road ahead is still uncertain. Where will AI go from here? And what safety nets do we have in place? Thanks for watching my introduction to Sora and I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my box below and I'll see you next time.